for all of these spheres start with 12 decagons and 20 hexagons. They have different polarity. Join like that. Join another one. And simply continue this logic. In the end you form nine dots triangles with those hexagons. The next step is to add another 12 rings of 10 and place them on top of the other decagons. Then you add 30 hexagons, place each hexa hexagon with different polarity from those decagons in between there. So they go in between two decagons, for this one and for that one you need to place some little triangles, put them in between here. Those triangles are supposed to have the same polarity as the decagons. And now you can see it has the same look as this one. So with 30 of those triangles, uh, sorry, 20 triangles, this one is ready. Now you can place decagons. And in between the decagons you can place octagons, stretch them a little bit, take another octagon, so now you get this effect. So that's how to make that one with three layers. And then on the other side, place a bunch of decagons without these little triangles. You have to be a little careful here. You don't get mess uh, you don't mess up those hexagons. Now in between three decagons you can place a dodecagon with 12 magnets. So there are 10 and now place 12 in between. This one has different polarity compared to the decagons. Place four four four. Now those triangles I have to turn it upside down to place it in here. So this triangle now has the same polarity as the dodecagon. Place another one. Turn it around, turn it over, and now it has the same look as the sphere. And those, you can press them 
and they will pop out again.